our five whiskeys we wish we never bought. Because now we can't pass them in the store without debating, do we need another one? The first bottle that I wish I never tasted, and now every time I go to the damn store I have to get, is Middle West. Now it doesn't matter what Middle West, because I want them all. You have the rye, I got the bourbon, they are both hitters. Middle West is fantastic, super dark usually. I'm not sure how Ohio does that because Ohio is barely a real state anyway. Oh, it's, Ohio sucks. It's fantastic whiskey. Actually, would you give me some of that? this cup. Oh, all right, because I want some of that weeded. We've had a lot of the pumpernickel rye. We've loved it. We've reviewed it before. So good. I want to talk about the straight weeded bourbon whiskey, the Michelin Reserve. Mmm, okay. I get a honeycomb smell, a little bit like cinnamon, like a dash of cinnamon and hazelnut on top of that as well. So it's a weeded bourbon, right? So you're gonna get that chocolate note, but I think you're there with that honeycomb. There's mm. something sort of organic-y, oh, like a light sweetness, not like a sugary processed sweetness there. This has just so much sweetness bursting through. You have the sweetness, but it's not sugary. No, yes. No, exactly. I'm eating a healthy granola. That, yes. Okay, I feel good about myself. I'm going on a hike with my trail mix and my Middle West. The second brand of whiskey on our list is Heaven's Door. I am a sucker for Tennessee whiskey. Every time I see Heaven's Door, I have to get it. It is so good. This is actually one of the bottles that created this video because our good friend Travis said, hey, I'm coming up to Michigan. Is there anything that you would like me to bring? When he sent us a picture of this 122 proof single barrel straight bourbon whiskey of Heaven's Door, we couldn't pass it up. It's so good. I'm getting a lot of cinnamon dust with some like black pepper. This is our first taste of anything Heaven's Door above 100 proof. And we've been fans of Heaven's Door at 100 proof to this point. That my friend, and I'm sure it's not disclosed, Mm -mm. That is Jack. Oh, my, I'm so intrigued. Here. There's a bunch of words on the... Here, talk to that camera for a minute while I figure this out. God, I don't even know. I don't Trade even know. Trade me again. Trade me again. I don't even know because it's so unexpected of how great it is. It's crazy. Can I offer you something sure. to compare this to? Yeah. Sometimes Jack can be a little off profile. This is our good friend, Matthew Porter. ADHD whiskey. He went a barrel picking over at the Jack Daniels. I want you to taste this and compare it to that. Okay. This is 129.6, the Heaven's Door is 122 point, I don't give a shit. Instantly, it smells much, much more sweeter than the Heaven's Door. You taste that and you taste it good. That sugar-coated Heaven's Door. That's what I'm saying, extremely similar no, profile. No, no, it, Jack Daniels is way more sugary than Heaven's Door is. And I don't like a non-sugar, I love sweet whiskey. I'm just saying, this single barrel at 122 reminds me a lot of a slightly off profile Jack Daniel single barrel, barrel proof. He That's doesn't fantastic. know what to Oh my gosh, this is, I'm gonna keep this. That is absolutely fantastic. At my wow. bedside area. Where are we gonna put all the dildos? Moving on to our third bottle that we wish we had never bought because it's so dang good. This is the most controversial bottle in this list of five. Did I say controversial wrong? <laughs> Henry McKenna Tenure. Let's explain why we're upset about buying this bottle. People cream their jeans over this. First two bottles of this that we had, we were not impressed at all. This is the turd bottle we bought and we love it. We finally understand, okay, this is just a very inconsistent single barrel because now we've got a banger. But here's the deal, because it's inconsistent, because we got a banger, then we saw it again. And we're like, well, I have to know, are they all, I mean, do we get two bad ones and then one good one? What are the odds? And then we saw it again. And we were like, well, I, I, I have to buy it because this one's a banger. I'm about to try all three. These are all from different years too. So the banger that we finally got that we enjoyed was from 2010. This is from 2011. The third that I'm gonna open here in a minute is from 2012. All oh, these noses are entirely different. Holy shit, you have to nose these. Yeah, they are. Wildly so different. So these are almost like, ooh, that second one's like a peppermint. Wildly different. The 2010, that is an extremely 
solid, well-balanced bourbon. The 2011 on the palate, it starts almost like something from MGP and then comes back with heavy pepper, heavy barrel. Yeah. And is really oaky and peppery on the tail end. For sure. That's exactly it. You got it. Wow. Nailed the tail on the donkey. So that's the 2011 batch. Here comes the 2012 batch. The 2012 batch is the 2011 batch tamed down. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like the 2012. It evened out in a really wet cardboard. There isn't much else to say about it. Number four on our list of bottles we wish we had never bought because they're so damn good. High age stated, high proof Sagamores. These are insane. Even if you don't <laughs> like rye, you need to buy these because you're wrong about rye. Fruity Maryland yes. rye, so fantastic, complex. I have heard whiskey palettes that you should trust, are not ours, other people, talk about this eight year as being a Thomas H. Handy killer. This is Sagamore's sweet spot. Eight year, 110, 111. It is literally one of the best ryes on the market. It is a bourbon drinker's rye. Yeah, well, then you got your cast strength for all you uh, monsters out there, just like me. 123 proof. No burn. Is it no burn because I'm I'm a freaking genius? Something about fish sticks interacting with me makes me gay fish. Is it because breaded has something to do with genius, which swims? No, because you said you like fish sticks, Kanye. Don't don't you get it? The final whiskey that we wish we had never purchased because it's so damn good. And Jack Daniel's single barrel, bitches. What the heck are they doing here? What are they doing? Is it like love potion number nine? We cannot pass one in the store without saying, oh man, $65, we should pick that up. Also look, it's in the, it's the shape of a square. But you know what will make this video special is if we took this Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye and if we cracked it open, this is our very first ever Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye. I don't know why I did this with my fingers. Tame but beautiful rye nose. Has that like that that deep dark Jack Daniels, Lynchburg, Tennessee, been aging forever. Has its yes. own beautiful slight funk to it. I was going to say it's kind of like this funky moldy, I don't want to say mold, but it is like a moldy well, they, rye, bay leaf, something. They happening. had that mold outbreak there in Lynchburg. They did. Yeah, it's a little too close to home. We're going to edit that out. It just, it, it's rye plus. Disney plus, Paramount plus. You're right. HBO Max, it's rye plus. Rye plus an experience of things that bourbon lovers would love. So get it under your tongue, rye, instantly. It's a surprise fireworks of rye. It's so delicious and it's smooth. Absolutely and it's everything fantastic. that you just said. Don't buy these. Please, for your own safety and precaution. If you're trying to live that Dave Ramsey life, these are five you shouldn't try. Most certified financial planners actually disagree with Dave Ramsey. Sorry. And they say buy the whiskey. You know what? You can't take it with you when you fucking die. Might as well spend it now. You can't take the money with you, but you can take the whiskey. And by that, I mean the, the cirrhosis of the liver. You take that with you when you die, it probably helps you to die. Well, at least no one's gonna take your organs. Here we go. Close the flannel, close the show. You don't get any more, bye.